<laughs> so you want to wait before you cut it again? Go, go, we're in. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, everyone, to the Giga Hub Weekly Show. We're just having a <laughs> laugh here before the show starts. So sorry about that. A little inside humor. Maybe one day we'll tell you about it. Brondo. When you're older, <laughs> yeah. Try drink Brondo. Drink Brondo. The thirst uh, meal. <laughs> the thirst meal. <laughs> uh, okay. Welcome to another episode of the Giga Weekly. I'm your host, Luis Latore. I'm Adam Crenn. I'm Daikaiju Tony. A fitting name for what we're going to talk about today, yeah. but before we get to that, let's talk about our wonderful sponsor, Cosmic Comics, the jewel of Las Vegas, yeah, the jewel cool. of the Sierra Nevadas. Oh, well, I like it, mm. <laughs> even though we're way south of that, but that's cool. That's fine. <laughs> the greatest comic shop this side of the Mississippi. I like it. I mm. like it. We have everything to fit your nerdy needs, including comic books, action figures, right. Funko Pops, T-shirts, lanyards, board games, new issues, back issues, sets, graphic novels. <laughs> lots new of issues, back issues, irregular issues. <laughs> regular and irregular issues. <laughs> variant issues. We have it all. Social issues. No, yeah, way, we don't have that, those. <laughs> that is the staff, and that is not for you to know. Anyway. Right. <laughs> anyway, uh, come on down yeah. if you ever find yourself in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. Right. And we, come take a look at all the cool stuff that they have here. We have Harley Quinn heads. I'm looking at one. That's a little disturbing. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. It's a oh, lot. dice games? It looks a lot nicer than he yeah. made it sound. Right. That's yeah. true. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we have dice games. We have dice games, of... dice and games, other and, games. Yeah. yeah. So Board come games, on down. role playing games, family games. Yeah. Lots of stuff. Come on down. Lots of stuff. Lots all right. Of stuff. Dai Kaiju Tony, this is your cup of tea. Yes, I mean, right. it's fair to say we're all fans of the genre, but right. I don't think I've known bigger fans than Dai Kaiju Tony and That's yourself. True. That's true. That's uh, true. Especially in Godzilla fare. So before we... I think he's got me beat now, though. You, you do? Yeah, because, you know, I'm mm. getting older, I'm jaded. Yeah. I, yep. I see things on the horizon, I'm just like, ugh. <laughs> and then I put them. in my old show era Godzilla movies and go, yeah! Got them, so cool. got them young lions nipping at your heels. Right, huh? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Um, anyway, before we before we go any further, right. for those of you who don't know what we're talking about, let's let's go into what exactly Tokusatsu is. Yes. All right. So, what do you got? What do you guys got? Tokusatsu. It's special essentially, effects. Movies, yeah, special special effects. effects movies. Yeah, or shows. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. More commonly though, it's uh, people in suits. Your uh, rubber yeah. suits. Rubber, rubber suits. Rubber yeah, suits. Yeah, yeah. Your and your, spandexes. Yeah. Your Godzillas. Your uh, your uh, Ultraman. Ultraman's common rider. Common rider. Super Sentai. Super Sentai. Mighty, Sentai yeah, which yeah, we Mighty know Morphin as Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Rangers. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Now we're today though we're gonna focus solely on or more specifically on kaiju or giant. Tokusatsu, kaiju stuff. movies, giant yeah. monster movies, giant monster yeah. movies and shows, yeah. giant that are coming heroes. out. Yeah. yeah. So, what do we want to start with? We got a whole litany of movies and shows here to talk about. Mm -hmm. What do you guys want to start with? Tony, over to you. All right, let's start with Cloverfield Two. Woo! <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I don't listen. I don't want to discourage anyone. I don't want to discourage yeah, anyone. True, true, I'm true. not a fan of J.J. Abrams, but I don't want to discourage anyone. Right, so right, let's yeah. let's let's just see what's going on. Let's Clover, see what they got. Ten Cloverfield Lane was good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. but okay, here's the rundown yeah, yeah. of it. Right. It's not going to be a found footage movie. Mm. It's not going to be good. a spinoff like Cloverfield Lane. This is going to be a direct sequel to the, the first, first Cloverfield. Cloverfield. Yep. Calling Ten Cloverfield Lane a spinoff is really thin. Ten but Cloverfield anyway, Cloverfield Lane was. If I'm not mistaken, it wasn't that even was a totally different movie. It was a totally and they different turned movie. Turned it into Cloverfield. Yeah. And they, Cloverfield. I guess they reshot some of the ending too to try to tie it in or something. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And they slapped a bad robot on it. Yeah. And uh, it's a good this, movie though. It is a good movie. It's a hundred percent J.J. Abrams film. So oh, Cloverfield two. Yeah. So expect a lot of outside media <laughs> yeah. to explore in order to fully grasp the story of the movie. Like, well. I don't know if MySpace is still a thing, but <laughs> because I know like some of the promotional uh, stuff is like they would have fake accounts of like, right, yeah. fictional characters yeah. of the movie yeah. in MySpace yeah. just to like tie in on what's going on in he the movie. He might do it again right. on MySpace. <laughs> on MySpace, knows, yeah. yeah. Oh, everyone log back into your MySpaces. Yeah, right. Log into your MySpace. I can see, I can see <laughs> in J.J. Abrams' hubris and he's just like, I'm going to bring back MySpace. I'm going to revive MySpace. <laughs> so what you're really saying MySpace, is Cloverfield 2 <laughs> is going to have a lot of really nonsensical plot points. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> anyway, anyway. So listen, I, again... These are just our opinions. Yeah, we're, we're not discouraging you from watching right. the movie. If right. you enjoyed all the Cloverfield movies, and please, a lot of people do like the yeah. Star Treks. A lot of people do enjoy his work. 
I am not one of them. I a lot of people. I'm also not one of them. You neither. <laughs> wow, it's, I, mean, I, it's I, I like Clover, I like Cloverfield Lane. I think yeah. Fringe and, was the only thing I enjoyed. That he and did. Clover, the third one, I liked it up until it started tying into the other two. Oh, movies. the the paradox or whatever. Yeah, it did start out good. Mm-hmm. Didn't end good. But like it, once it, it started bringing really up stuff yeah. from the other Cloverfield movies, that's when I uh, yeah, it started out strong. Didn't end up strong. Uh, that was another movie that was a separate movie too that they had reshot a few things for. I think. Oh. They had caught it, I believe, like mid production or something, and said, "We're gonna make you stars." <laughs> yeah, here's a here's a fun fact. I don't know how many people knew right. this, but apparently, a Quiet Place was supposed to be the fourth film, which is what Cloverfield Two is is the fourth film in the franchise. So, a Quiet Place was supposed to be <sighs> really yeah, and then. People, they thought, no, this this movie is way better on its own and yes, not it part is. of a franchise. And it is a good movie. I enjoyed it's it. awesome. Really? Yeah. yeah. You didn't like it? I got about, I, I think I made it 20, 30 minutes into it. And mm-hmm. I was just, you know, I should try it again because maybe I was just not in the right mood. But I was just bored. Mm. And I, I wasn't feeling it. But, you know. It's the build up. It's the build up. Right? I, maybe I was in the wrong mood. Maybe, you know, maybe I had a couple too many glasses of wine or bottles of beer and I was just like this. Or both. Uh, or both. <laughs> but uh, a quiet place, it gets like way more intense, like throughout the last okay. act. Yeah. So Cloverfield 2, though, not a lot known right now, right? Nope. Just announced. Just announced. Just yeah. announced. With, with what I just stated with the whole being a direct sequel to the All first right. one. Cloverfield 2, folks, check it out. And Tony, back to you. What's next? All right. Um... <laughs> Over back to you, Tony. Now I'm like really into doing that. Okay, no, so... do it. Hey, do that. You do what feels right in your heart. Tony, back to you. All right, and another one that just got announced with no images or and not even a structured uh, synopsis for it. Um, Skull Island, anime on Netflix. Skull, yeah, I couldn't Skull, find. Yeah, and, I couldn't find too much on Skull Island right. either. And same animators as the Castlevania anime. And right. Oh, and cool. I asked. Well, let's just say I have an insider information. <laughs> yeah, she didn't know anything about she it. <laughs> she didn't know anything about it. And she said, mm. yeah, yeah, we're doing it. I don't know. <laughs> That's about all I got. So. For well, her, not like okay, I, you not, know, I mean, you know, not we'll, like we'll I see how it goes. She, yeah, not like she'd say anyway. She's good about that. I do like the animation of uh, Castlevania, so yeah, yeah, that might be awesome. interesting. At least, if anything, the art might be very interesting. Yeah, mm-hmm. the, the final season, we'll see. Um Anyway, yeah, I'll keep it at that. <laughs> um, we'll see how the final season. I'm hoping out. the an the the Squall Island anime leans more towards being R-rated, considering some of the stuff that the Squall Island movie got away with. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Now, is Skull Island? Do you know? Does it take place back in the seventies? Is it older? Is don't, it supposed to be something don't know. modern? Don't know. There's we know nothing, nothing about it. Yeah. I'm hoping that it's the story of Marlo and the Japanese soldier. That would be kind of like, cool. Oh yeah, that'd be great. Kong would still be around, and maybe his family. Mm. Oh, no, that was um, very interesting. I th- we we saw Kong Skull, Skull Island, Island yeah. in theaters. Yeah. I enjoyed. I it. I liked it. I, did I enjoyed like it Skull quite Island. a bit. Yeah, I think it was a fun movie. Yeah. The prequel comic, uh, Kong. I knew mean, I forgot. I forgot what it's called, but Ta- <laughs> But basically, Kong Skin Island before Kong. it became Skull Island. I don't know. <laughs> Kong's parents died when he was born. So, uh, yeah. So, so sad. Yeah. <laughs> So sad. He's so sad. Back to you, Donut. What's next? All right. Real <laughs> Tarzan situation. All right. Now we're With going towards island. stuff that has actual some stuff we actually could trailers find. and you know, right. footage. Yeah. All right. S S S S. Dina Xenon from okay. Gridman Universe. Yeah. Listen, if you're gonna say it, you have to say it the way that it's stylized, which is S S S S. Dina Xenon. Right. Because it's all capitals. Yes. Right. So to me, that's shouting. <laughs> all right. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay, so Dino Xenon, it's a <laughs> sequel dash spinoff of SSSS dot Gridman and Gridman uh, SSSS dot Gridman is a sequel slash soft reboot of the nineteen ninety show Gridman ni- no nineteen ninety three show <coughs> Gridman, which had an American adaptation right. by Saban called Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad, which explains ah, the four, which explains the four SS Joey, Joey Lawrence. Lawrence. I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, I remember that yeah. show when I was a kid, and, and it Tim was the Curry, most amazing and thing. Tim Curry, that's, that's right. right, Tim Curry, yeah. isn't it? Yep, right. Crazy, right? It's so, such a weird show. So, what do we know about so, this? Dino Xenon was Gridman's robot T Rex that would become his armor. And he, for some reason, wasn't in uh, SSSS.Gridman. Jeez, too many all, S's. What, are all, what do all the S's stand for, do we know? 
Superhuman Samurai. Uh, Super, Super Samurai Cyber. No, that's that's. Nope. Yeah. It, what, I don't know. Mm, whatever nope. whatever the Bond show was called. <laughs> mm, Superhuman Super Samurai Sam- Cyber Squad. That's what it was Super called. Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad. SSS. No, Superhuman. So. Super? Yes. Human. But it. it samurai I'm, squad show. Again, I was thinking as an adult, it was all S's. So it's Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad. All S's. Super. So instead of yeah, a C all, for cyber, it's. it's yes, S yes. For it's, cyber. It, yeah. So Superhuman wow. Samurai Cyber wow. Squad. Anyway, so what's going on with the new show? So, That's too many S's. Yeah, new show. It's going to be just about Dino Xenon, uh, uh, apparently. Oh, okay. And Which is the T-Rex that was in the show, right? Right. Yeah. I had that action figure. I loved him. That and I think it might be a kid or something. Kid friendly? or No, no, because a kid that turns into... Oh. Because, okay, so in SSSS.Gridman, Gridman and... All of his weapons, like a like a sword, a tank, and a jet, like they were people that got sucked into the computer and they went out to a portal to turn into like a talking tank, a talking plane, a talking sword. And they fought on the internet, right, <laughs> or something like that? They yes. fought on the internet or some it's such like thing. Virtual yeah. space. It was uh, cyberpunky, very cyberpunky. Yeah. Okay, you want to know a little spoiler for the Sh- last anime? Sure. sure. Yeah. Okay, the plot twist that happens halfway in the show is that it the whole show takes place in the cyber world and the main characters don't even know it it's like reboot Whoa. except they knew it yeah yep yeah Dude, spoiler <laughs> <laughs> and it kind of got a little meta with one of the main villains akane shinjo who who like has a lot of action figures and uh, oh that's right he collects doesn't he collect ultraman or something? yeah she, yeah. yeah she has a lot of ultraman yeah ultraman it's material quasi related yeah to and there's a part where like um one of the characters is looking through a hobby magazine book and she starts naming all the ultraman bag it's like oh there's red king isn't it weird that red king's never actually read in the show <laughs> 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 true very true yeah. all right crazy and that's a uh, japan that's japanese only right or japan uh only, yeah or? it's being animated by studio trigger who right. did for the last now, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, who That's did good. the last anime? Nice. Yeah. All right, what do we have next on the list? All right, Pacific Rim: The Black. Ooh. Pacific Rim. Oh boy, The Black. That see now, that's one that I'm going to be an old man about, and I don't know that I can get behind. Yep. I thought the first movie <laughs> should have ended. It was a phenomenal, thing. and it, it had a very movie. It had a very well defined ending. I thought again, the first movie was like the greatest movie I ever made when right. I first saw it. <laughs> again, me too. I was a young lad when I saw it. I was only what forty three or something. Oh, you were you were a I wee was a young you were a, lad, a wee boy of forty three, <laughs> with a with a pocket full of dreams and a song in your heart. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. I, yeah, and trailer came out. Uh, might take place after Uprising, or might take place does it, before. Doesn't really specify. Does it count Uprising? Uh, it probably does. Here's a picture of one of the the Denver Bronco Jaeger, apparently, because yeah. he's very orange and blue. Yep. Um, <laughs> go Denver. Did <laughs> go take, take place in Australia, which is abandoned? I think. Why? I have no. <laughs> But why? Uh, the kaiju look all right, but the Jaeger, I'm like, eh, those colors are too ugly for me. <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, I, I'm I'm with Luis here. It's just the first one's so good. Yes. Listen, I haven't and even seen the second one, but the first I, one was so good. I, I, I thought doing it again would just be bastardizing the name of the well, first one. It kind of did. <laughs> Here's the thing about the second one. It's not terrible. Mm. It's just Michael B. Jordan's very... in it. How bad could it be? No, he's not. No, he's um, not. no it's John Boyega. Boyega. John, I'm sorry, John Boyega. Boyega. I don't it's know just, why I was thinking Michael B. Jordan. It's yeah. so forgettable. It's just, it's so forgettable I don't remember yeah, it. They, it's weird. Like, they, it's it, just like, meh. They introduce all these cool concepts, right. like, and they don't, like an evil Jaeger or a kaiju right. that can combine together, but they at the same time, the story itself is, they eh. don't. Yeah, and they don't really, they don't utilize any of the ideas, like, to their even half their potential. It's just kind of, you know, I don't know if you watch any of the previews of the little Kai, uh, Jaeger that like rolled or whatever. Mm-hmm. That Scrapper. Was, I, Scrapper. That thing was actually kind of cool. Yeah, a little yeah. But like, of them. once once that scene's over, like you don't even see it again until like the very end. Yeah. <laughs> and, it, and it doesn't even do any much. It doesn't do much. So this isn't, this isn't a movie, by the way, like a live oh, this action is a movie. Show, this right? is an anime. Under Netflix. the Black, yeah. Yeah, this is an anime series, all done in CG. Yep, same studio right. that did the Godzilla anime trilogy. Oof. Polygon Pictures. Yeah, I, now, I didn't see those, guys. What did you think of those? Being uh, the, being God- Listen, I love Godzilla. I like Godzilla. You guys 
love Godzilla. Really? Oh my god. They're okay. So exactly. slow. And How much dull. of Godzilla do you see? Because that seems to be a lot of it's, the problem in American it's, versions. It's such a different take, which mm. I don't mind a different take. Yeah. Because GMK is one of the greatest Godzilla movies, and that is a completely different take on Godzilla. Mm-hmm. But it's such a different take on Godzilla. But it's just the movies, like I want to say three <sighs> movies, like an hour and. 90 or I don't know they're almost two hours each right it has a lot of Godzilla he's just standing around not doing but, much yeah they're just there's not a lot they could have taken that and turned it into a okay so one two hour movie probably would have been great yeah oh uh shout out to my friend Titan Goji who did a fan yeah. cut of all the three movies and combined yeah. them to one more tolerable movie and it was probably less than two hours wasn't it yes yeah because the first one yes, okay nothing the first, happens the yeah. first one I actually like because there's a lot of world building character development and it leads you on to thinking that the next ones are going to be awesome, considering right. that it has a pretty good uh, plot twist in the end, where it turns out the Godzilla they were fighting was yeah, Junior. That was, that was cool. And the real Godzilla has been sleeping for like thousands of years, and right. he got like ten times bigger. He's huge, and yeah, he has like, a new power, which ridiculously they, huge. Yeah. Actually, he has a, like a list full of new powers, but they hardly reference it or hardly yeah. show it. Like he could shoot a laser by whipping his tail. Yeah, yeah. And they but won't... the second movie, all filler. Yeah. Mm, and okay. Mecha Godzilla, there's hit, a couple. There's like one good action sequence with like uh, the, flying the flying vultures. Yeah, the vultures. But yeah. he Mecha Godzilla turned into a city, and yeah, it was really weird. Like it was really, I, I thought they were gonna really go different. full on Metroplex and have <laughs> <laughs> the city <laughs> yeah. right, fight Godzilla, but no, they're just gonna turn it into a Godzilla guillotine, which yeah. I guess is more Bizarre. efficient, but at the same time, um, it's not as cool looking. Yeah, mm. and the main characters. Oh my god. So like, does. Does does this review that you've guys given right. of those Godzilla movies? Do you think that's going to be indicative of this show? Hopefully, do you think maybe. is this show going? Is there a, is there a chance? No, is there a huge possibility that this show is going to be real bad, real boring? Well, let's just say that in my humble opinion, Pacific Rim in the black or into the black or whatever. Just the it's black. Called. The black. Sorry, just the, just the black. Um, it can't get any worse <laughs> yeah <laughs> it can only go up sure w- when you compare it to the godzilla animes and yep. and 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 uprising <laughs> yeah let's it just, can only get let's, better let's just shut ourselves off from any other pacific rim besides the first one just right. pretend like they didn't happen right. people yes. bring it up we're like you know, ah, what i didn't know mm-hmm. it honestly breaks my heart that the first one didn't do that well like i don't get yeah, it yeah it did like, well in like home I, video sales but yeah. not Theatrically, the I mean, box office didn't do that. Sleeper, like it barely sleeper, yeah. qualified for a sequel. Right, right. Yeah. Okay, but if so, you want to know about the third solid, anime trilogy solid. movie of Godzilla, uh, it gets really religious. Yeah. Ghidorah is basically Space oh, Cthulhu. Yeah. yeah. And that's, the that's main bad. character is like even more unlikable than he already is. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. Typical Godzilla fare, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Let's. Uh, anyway, that just if one. just real quick, if anybody wants to watch it, that is scheduled for Netflix for March of this year. The. Oh, uh, the Pacific, Bla- Pacific Black? and the Black. Yeah, that yeah. One is, so yeah. that one's scheduled for March 4th of right. this year. And there's a few screenshots, which. Yeah. Well, like I said, I can't, uh, can't get any worse. <laughs> All right. I'm not going to buy. I'm any also of not toys. a big fan of, of anime that's all CG or even has CG yeah, parts. I think it takes away from. It depends. I mean, Ultraman anime was all right. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Back to you, Tony. Right. What's next? Speaking of anime, next one's an anime. Uh-huh. Attack and Titan, the final season, which is going on right now. So that's right. It started last uh, December, right? I am way behind. On Attack on Titan. I, I, I didn't like it. You didn't like it? I didn't like it. The anime? I remember you talked me into watching it, and I was just like, yeah, I'm like, I think I went eight episodes in, and I'm like, there's still nothing I can grab onto. <laughs> well, <laughs> I was like, uh, Later on. But I get it. It's popular. Down the line, it, bec- it's bas- it basically becomes an R-rated Ultraman. Mm. Oh, okay. But, and here's a really, really, really hot take. I kind of like the live action movies more than the anime, and the live action How movies are like the most. Very dare you! I didn't watch it, so I don't know. I I've heard like a lot of people, a lot of fans of the the live action anime movies did not like the movies. They're mm-hmm. like but... the most hated live action movies right. in terms of anime. They, they look amazing, even though there's oops, sorry, even though there are worse live action anime adaptations out there. Right. Full Metal Alchemist. <laughs> yeah, was that a live? Oh yeah, I it's didn't... on Netflix. I mean, I, mean, I didn't even know Death Note. <laughs> Well, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's yeah, Adam Wingard. Oh, we'll get to Adam hey. Wingard soon. Hey, uh, uh, our buddy liked it. <laughs> which buddy? Oh, yeah. Wait, well, wait, he likes wait, everything. You're yeah, talking about the true. Adam Wingard Death Note, right? Yeah, yes. I think yeah, yes, not yes. the great Shusuke Kanako ones. Yeah. No, Adam Wingard, whose name will come up again. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. By the way. And I have to mention the live-action movies here because 
the live action Attack on Titan movies, they were made around the time the manga was even finished yet. Yeah. And Hajime Ishiyama, he wanted it to like drift away from the source material as, as much as it can to like differentiate itself from the source material. Huh. And matter of fact, one of the original drafts for that movie was Titans would attack modern day Japan, huh. basically. And it's visually one of the best tokusatsu movies out there. Really? That's that's just tokusatsu as in guys in rubber suits and animatronics because Shin Godzilla without Shin Godzilla was all CG. Well, there was a couple puppets well, that I like very brief yeah. moments, yeah. But um the the I mean, tit- you say that, but I don't think you've seen the live action Yater Man, have you? Yater Man? <laughs> <laughs> have you guys seen the live No. I have it, by the way. Yeah. It's, it's yeah, done yeah. by, um, what is his name? That He's like the really like big time controversial director. He did Visitor Q. Um, oh, visual- Takeshi. Takeshi Miike. Miike Takeshi yeah. Miike did Yater Man. Before. And Yater Man was an old yeah. uh, anime, right. a kid's anime. So uh, it's still got a lot hey, of that. Zebra Man is an amazing Zebra film. Zebra Man is I fantastic, love that. I love yeah. That movie, yeah. Right. Anyway, so do go see those. Right, yeah. 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 So yeah, the live action Attack of Titan movies, the Colossal Titans, the giant animatronic, and it's beautiful, especially related with CGI. Nice. And all the Titans are CGI. Uh, not CGI, um guys in suits, especially right. during the fight scenes. And it's like it's like a homage to War of the Gargantulas, so, especially the second one. Did That's they, cool. Did with, they get that one MMA fighter to play the Aaron Yeager Titan? The one I, that he was based off of in the anime? No. That would be cool. But yeah. okay, so the story of the live action heavily influenced what would happen in the final season. I was going to say, so what can we expect from the final season? Is well, it, you a lot said of, a it lot influenced of stuff already, the final season? Yeah, and I remember like when people first saw it, like, oh, why the, well, why is there tanks and vehicles and helicopters? It's supposed to be medieval times. Like, oh, no, just wait till later in the manga and in the final season, and then you'll get it, because a lot of the huh. story elements from live action influences what happens later on. Like Interesting. Like Aaron having a brother, tanks, uh... Hmm. Modern, well, semi-modern technology. <laughs> Interesting. Are they going the Adventure Time route where that is the future, <laughs> not the past? The, well, it is a future. It's a different in the planet, future. right? Did, uh, aren't they no settlers? On, I thought they were settlers on a different uh, planet. That's how the live action took it, where uh, it was like 2,100 yeah. something. Watch the anime, you plebe. <laughs> <laughs> you noob. <laughs> All right. All right. And yeah, watch the final season, but right. if you want if you can watch the live action movies, they're not as bad as their initial response was. There there's worth li- worse live action anime out there. There mm-hmm. you go. I will have to watch the the so, anime uh, cuz I'm way behind. All right. <clears throat> so what do we got next? Back to you, Tony. All right. Can you okay. can that just be your thing every episode? Okay. I think, I think so, back yeah. to you. All right. Okay. I'm going to say 3 2 1. Rebuild a oh, got, dang, I gotta say it again. I gotta say it again. <laughs> what? Okay, three, gotta, two, one. Rebuild of Evangelion 3.0 plus 1.0 right. thrice upon a time. Right, that one's a weird time. <sighs> oh, <God. laughs> if an Evangelion 3.0 leaves Boston at 304 <laughs> and the plus 1.0 leaves New York at 5 o'clock, at what point will they be thrice upon a time? So Evangelion, my understanding is uh, if you've seen it, and you love it, you love it. Yes. Here's the thing. I If you've seen it, it or you haven't seen it, mm. you don't care. It's debatably... <laughs> because Hide- it's really weird. Yeah, it's debatably uh, Hideaki Anno's magnum opus right, aside right. Shin Godzilla. Right. Yeah, he was the same guy that wrote and directed Shin Godzilla, which is an amazing film. So, Man, I, should, yeah. Yeah. so I should probably quit whining yeah. and just suck it up and watch the Evangelion saga. I, yeah. uh, so, and prepare uh, for three plus three point zero plus one point zero. So, yeah. yeah, I honestly I love it. I try to watch it um, at least once the whole old, the old series at least once a year. Really? I do like the 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 uh, the new movies that came out. Yeah, the Rebuild like Universe. Every, uh, yeah, the uh, you cannot advance, you cannot uh, redo. Undo, yeah. Yeah. The Rebo films are actually pretty good. Like yeah. it's a the first movie starts out as a direct adaptation of the first few episodes and it's accurate point on point and by the second movie it starts drifting and you notice some changes here and there and by the third movie it's like all out out, out of control Crazy. totally a different universe. Huh. So what is Evangelion 3 plus 1? I mean, so it's finale. So it's basically the finale of the series. So Everything. They, yeah, yeah. So they, they everything comes together. They basically took the entire series and they cut it up into f- four movies. They changed uh, some stuff around. I think. Wow. When was the, the first one came out? Like two thousand eight. Yeah, more than ten years ago. Yeah, ten wow. years. And it's and the, uh, the movies have been coming out steadily. 
Okay. Uh, since yeah. then, about every few I know there was years. a lot of delays for 3.0 plus 1.0 because Hideaki Anna had to work on a whole bunch of other stuff like Shin Godzilla. Oh, I know okay. he just barely finished it. That's why he's working on Shin Ultraman now. So, so if you're an Evangelion fan, stay tuned. Yep. Yeah, honestly, I try I, I try to watch it at least, well, the old one, at least once a year, the, the whole thing, because I own the whole thing on, on the DVDs. Yep, and on in, the DVDs. In terms DVDs. of the post credit scenes, because like the Evangelion movies, they have... They have post credit scenes like the anime does, where it show, shows like a little preview of the next movie. Yeah. Don't trust any of that footage because they're known <laughs> to alter the footage completely <laughs> and like not show anything that's from the footage shown in the previews at all. All right, cool. Well, like I said, if you're an Evangelion fan, stay tuned. Next up, what do we have? Back to you, Tony. Another Hideaki Anno one, Shin Ultraman. Shin Ultraman. Dun, dun, dun. Shin Ultraman. Now, oh. Shin Ultraman is a film right. yes. that is, uh, from my understanding, commemorating the 55th anniversary of Ultraman. Right. Yeah. Uh, and is supposed to be uh, a reimagining of the first series. Right. Yeah. And there's most likely going to be a ton of homages to Return of Ultraman, since that's Hideaki Anno's favorite Ultraman series. Mm. Because if you like watch Return of Ultraman, like a lot of the cinematography... I know it's darker. Yeah. yeah, it's darker, and a lot of the cinematography matches with Shin Godzilla. Oh. Mm. So they already have like uh, it's due out this Return year. Return of obviously. Ultraman is nineteen seventy. I seventy one. Believe so. It's after yeah. Ultra Seven. Yeah, I know it's mm. after Ultra Seven. It would be the fourth series in the Ultra slash Subaraya Productions catalog, but the third Ultraman series. Mm. Yes. So yeah. they they already have the cast right, mm-hmm. right. and uh, at least at least the two leads have some Godzilla experience, right? So. Uh, the so. lead actor Takumi Saito yeah. was in Shin Godzilla. Yes, which he didn't play a huge part in Shin Godzilla, but he was there. Mm-hmm. He was also in Garo. Yeah. Uh, if anyone's watched Garo, Space Battleship Yamato, which I have yeah. the live action version of, which is great. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Masami Nagasawa, who is in Godzilla Tokyo SOS, she plays one of the twins. Ah, yep. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Very cool. One of the sh- Shobijin. 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 Well, that was specific to the '60s version. Yep. The Little Beauties, that's what it means. Then in the 90s. It's only specific to the 60s. In the Heisei era, they started calling them the Cosmos. Yeah, the Cosmos. Well, they're trying to make them, well, anyway. (laughs) I have high hopes for Shin Ultraman. This movie better blow my mind. Yeah, it looks different. Um, It definitely looks different and kind of cool. And, um, you know, if, if you don't know about Ultraman, because he's not nearly as popular in the U.S. as he is in Japan, um, just... Just to kind of put it out there, uh, Godzilla is not nearly as popular in Japan as Ultraman. Like, not even close. Yes. It's not even really? close. Really? Yeah. Godzilla is as popular in yeah. Japan as Popeye as in America. He's like just like he's that. He's got to be more than that. Popeye's wow. pretty obscure nowadays. I would think well, he's got to be a little Shin bit Godzilla more. Godzilla only Popeye's go- guy, huh? Popeye's His guy. popularity only rose just because of Shin Godzilla. Right. That movie, like... Well, that's true, yeah. Yeah. Best picture in Japan. Not even the legendary movie. Shin Godzilla? Popular. Yeah. <laughs> Shin Godzilla was very good. Amazing. I highly recommend yeah, you guys amazing. watch it. Listen, I, I would in two thousand. I would never recommend to you a political thriller that's cut in with monsters. Political satire, a political and satire, thrill, and thriller. thriller yeah. That's cut more in with monsters. That's more relevant today, right now yeah. than ever. And 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 uh, what was I going to say? <laughs> um, yeah, that movie. If you think in 2017 is when it came out, 16? 2016 is when um, Shin Godzilla came out. If you think in 2016 that you couldn't find a movie that made Godzilla terrifying again, that is the movie. Yeah. Yes. He is terrifying. He's well, looking, yeah. The potential for him is terrifying, yeah. All right. So um, is that everything for Shin Ultraman? So there's Other there's than also we, a TV we series, we right, see that's it? come out, the new TV sh- series, the oh, that's, uh, that's... Z Heroes Odyssey, which is, I guess is the next iteration of the show. Oh, no. Ult- next Ultraman show is Triggered. That happens. Uh, Ultraman gets a new show like every one or two years. I was going right. to say, so, yeah, so that's like, pretty common. It's like Power Rangers or right. Super it's Sentai. It. Yeah. yeah. Ultraman yeah. Trigger is the next one. So, All right. Yeah. So okay. what's next? Back to you, Tony. All right. Any, 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 so Godzilla vs. Kong. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> the movie. <laughs> Adam Wingard. Wingard. Everybody's <laughs> seen that image. Oh, I, I, mean, I knew we'd come back to Adam Wingard. The trailer looks awesome, Adam but I'm very Wingard. wary of it because of Adam Wingard's past movies. All right. I'm just going to put this out there. Godzilla King of the Monsters in 2000, what was that, 16, 14? 17? Mm-hmm. No, 14 oh, was oh, the first. 19. 2019 was King of the Monsters. Was that 2019? That movie sucked. <laughs> what? That's, that's my professional reviewer's opinion. <laughs> it's a fan That's film your hot take. You know what's funny is I remember we were sitting next to each other, 
And I did want... we see that one? Yeah, yeah, did we see we did. the first with, one? With, we saw uh, both. William. I think we saw both. No, I oh, saw the, I saw, saw the first one with Michelle. But King of the Monsters right. I saw yeah, with you and saw, William. Yeah, we saw we saw that. And I remember yeah. I wanted to like it. I remember wanting to like it. And then you just kept going, what the hell is going on? This is stupid. And I just remember thinking, like, he's right. I can't I can't cling to the hope that this is a good film anymore. I can't. Because I wanted to like who, it. Who was, was right? Like, who was right? You were. Oh, I tell you that? I, you, I remember. just remember you. I hear. I kept hearing you chuckle. And then you would lean over. And you were like, what the hell? This is, what is going on? This is stupid. And I'm just, and I remember thinking like, he's right. I mean, it could have been, right. it, it could have been I, good I stupid. I want to like, yeah, it wasn't even good stupid. I'm just but, like, but it took the story way too seriously. I, I want, yeah. That one, okay. But the stuff that was happening, it took itself way too seriously. Yeah. The one thing that ruined the whole story was when, um, Emma, she was in, she was like giving her whole speech. It's like, oh, we humans have been destroying Earth and we need to release the Titans. Right. <laughs> it's like oh overpopulation all of this real world stuff yeah this is the reason why we need giant monsters to roam the world <laughs> makes sense to me yeah good now good job i there. think the movie lost me when uh she basically watched uh uh the lannister the old man charles dance charles dance was this character in game of thrones tywin yeah when she let tywin lannister murder all her co-workers in front of her daughter she's yeah. like it's no big deal we're bad guys yeah yeah no no we're the good guys this is uh, yeah, fine because like, that's that was the thing where she thought that they were doing yeah. good work but which, it's okay if you murder like 40 yeah. or so of that's your what co-workers that's, in front of your teenage daughter that's not gonna scar her. <laughs> <laughs> that's what good guys do that's what good guys do yeah that was bizarre to me anyway <laughs> anyway back to congress godzilla anyway it is directed again we said by adam Wingard, adam Wingard. Who, is, who directed the live action death note and the Blair Witch, uh, uh, which is that one Blair Witch movie that shows one? the monster. It oh, shows, that's the, is it the newest the Book one, of right? Shadows, right? Or is it the newest one? It's the newest one where like the person goes back in the house just for nostalgia reasons, and she's being chased <laughs> by a monster that you actually see, which kind of defeats the whole purpose of the first movie. Yeah, well, first well, anyway. <laughs> Don't get off topic. And again. now Adam Wingard's going to... I didn't realize he was directing... Godzilla vs. Kong, and now I'm kind of bummed that you told me. <laughs> He's going to do I, I purposely about, stayed away from... You were bound to find out sometime, right, right. buddy. But, He's I mean, g- you might feel better about Alexander Skarsgård being in it. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, he He's, was good in Tarzan. Honestly, Tarzan was a decent movie. It was yeah. CGI heavy, but it was all CGI. So oh, you mean the one with Margaret Robbie in it? Was she in that? Yeah. She played, she, played she played Jane. Yeah, nice. That was her. Yeah, I, nice. Wow, you didn't even know that. I didn't even know that. I like that we, movie. I we saw did. that. We saw that. We movie saw that together. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. Adam Wingard. This was this was just announced recently. He's now going to direct a sequel dash soft reboot of Face Off. Ugh, why? Why <laughs> isn't the John Woo version like the perfect version of the? Yes. How much better can yes. you get than the John Woo version? You can't get better than a John Woo version. No, this guy. John Woo makes comic books into film. <laughs> yes, <laughs> like the, the ego, the hu- he the pair mm, on this guy, to, hubris. The to think that like, oh right. yeah, I can make that movie better. I would have walked I, away. I can do this if they were like, listen, we need you. We need you to do a reboot. Which one? Face off. Nope. Goodbye. I'd only yeah, accept it if I could clone Nicolas Cage and have it be a Nicolas Cage versus <laughs> I need a Nicolas young Cage Nicolas movie. Cage and a young John Travolta. Now, they should get John Travolta to his current age with just play that part. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Sounds all right. tired. Godzilla vs. Kong. Back to Godzilla vs. Kong. You know, I... I, 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 <sighs> I like the cinematography of the trailer. Like, it looks yeah. a lot better than King of the Monsters. Like, you could actually see what's going on. Right. It's, there's no ugly Instagram filter. Right. <laughs> Yeah. Can, I, can I tell you something? Yes. And you may, you may or may. Can I not, tell you something? You may or may not know this. Right. One of my favorite things about talking with you about movies is how upset <laughs> you get sometimes. <laughs> I find it highly entertaining. <sighs> so I just want to know: Were you already having bad thoughts about this movie, or did the did the Adam Wingard thing right now just really turn you off? I, or did that just add to I, the I, disappointment? I really didn't want to even deal with thinking about the movie like the tree sure. the trailer dropped i watched it and i remember thinking like i'm not going to let myself get emotionally invested i've been hurt i've been hurt too many times i mean i kind of right? let myself dead get right, emotionally right. invested and um especially and then the i remember leaks. i got here and then even brian's like oh man did you see that was that cool i was like yeah, that was all right. he's just like man you don't like nothing i'm the one who told like, brian about it say, yeah i didn't say that right <laughs> i just i can't listen like, can i tell you I, something yeah. we all know <laughs> You're you're real. But listen, you're good at hiding a lot of things. Your disgust for movies is is you're bad at hiding it. 
You're really bad at hiding. <laughs> All right, uh, I can tell when something. Should we discuss be. leaks or official things that n- has not uh, been? Let's stay told. official because okay, so leaks, leaks might not mean anything. They could be okay. So misdirection. You know, on the know. on the side of leaning towards official because I know um. I think this was on Amazon's uh, description for the official novelization. Right. So the story sounds pretty stupid, but I'm hoping it could be in the fun stupid. It honestly so, sounds like they mixed Godzilla vs. Mothra with Godzilla vs. King Kong, honestly. Um, from the 60s. Okay, so... That's what it seems like. A little bit of... With sn- a little bit of 1974's uh, Mechagodzilla. Uh, you, okay. <laughs> a little bit of the synopsis. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Serzawa has an evil son who wants who probably you, you had the best idea that they are not doing. I thought that was amazing. Tony. Oh yeah, okay. So he has an evil son he who should, who's he gonna should have, be wearing. Yeah, go who's ahead. gonna have his revenge against Godzilla with a blow a character who's gonna return that. I'm not going to spoil, but if you just look at the toys, <laughs> yeah, the toys gonna, are a giveaway. They're going to give it away. I haven't seen it. Is it Brie Larson? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Dang it. No. It's never brilliant. Okay, so, and this, this was my idea. Ken Watanabe's Dr. Serizawa should have right. an eye patch, and Serizawa's like... evil son should have an eye patch as well, but have it backwards. On the because yeah. in Godzilla vs. the Sea Monster. There's a goatee. The Go- <laughs> Godzilla vs. the Sea Monster, the actor right. who played Serizawa. Was evil. He was evil in that movie, and he had a backwards eye patch. He had a backwards eye patch, that's right. That would have been, like, the greatest they dumb sh- reference the greatest, ever. Yeah, the greatest throwback in kaiju, daikaiju uh, history. Yes. Man. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I just, I don't know. I'm, I'm a little bit more excited for all the King Kong parts more than the Godzilla yes, parts. Yes, yes. Except for the destruction scenes, because the Godzilla, because... I saw like a little still from the trailer of Godzilla yeah. just destroying the city. I'm like, this is what I wanted to see back in 2014 <laughs> because the trailers of 2014 promised us that Godzilla's coming and the world's going to end, but it ended up being a verse movie that had the darkness and color green of the first one. Yeah. So, 2014 was not good. <laughs> I thought it was okay for what it was. Yeah. It's just like it tried to yeah, be... It was very dull. It yeah. tried to be both a versus movie and a remake of the first Godzilla. Yeah, and you like, can't... Just stick with one. <laughs> I know, you know, my complaint with the 2014 movie was basically like, you know, it's Godzilla. This is his late high 20s, early 30s film. I mean, we know what he does. Yeah. It doesn't need to hide it. It's I mean, not Jaws under the water. What's like, he going to do? What's like, he going to do? You don't know what he's going to do by now? <laughs> I was, right. fine. I was, I was nah. fine with it being sort of like Jaws where they're like hiding the monster with all smoke and darkness because right. at, the, at the time, this was like the biggest Godzilla to date. But when, but when you mix that up with him fighting other monsters, it doesn't look right. Right. Okay, yeah. so, so it's real, probably... Oh, go. Real quick, snap yeah. judgment, right? Yeah. Oop. You're right. You got to pick one. Top of your head. I need you to do it quick. Right? Okay. Ninety-seven Godzilla. This twenty fourteen Godzilla. Go. You mean twenty fourteen? Which is better? You which twenty fourteen? You mean ninety-eight? Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Twenty fourteen is by far. What did better. I say? So you said ninety-seven. I'm sorry. I meant ninety-seven 90. was supposed to be the John de Blanc Godzilla yeah. versus the Griffin. The 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 the. the we're I, yeah, we don't need to get into that. Twenty yeah. fourteen. We'll, we'll go down a rabbit hole. Oh, by far. You know, and it's still a terrible movie, but it's so far better. That 1998 Godzilla is just... <laughs> Tony, it's, it's Godzilla, en- it's... Yeah. It's enjoyable. 90, 98, 2014. I mean... As people on the Godzilla boards call it, that's a Gino movie. Gino. Godzilla, that's yeah, Gino, it. Gino. Godzilla I mean, in name only. G- oh, Gino. Right, right, right. Yeah. I mean, as a Godzilla movie, 2014 is obviously better, but as yeah. a dumb, enjoyable movie... <laughs> I actually, rewatching no. it a couple years yeah. ago for Rift Tracks, it was boring. I thought it was really yeah, even boring. Even the Rift Tracks couldn't save it. Right, yeah. Right, I, just, yeah. I just, I remember thinking, like, it's just going on. <laughs> I mean, watching... <laughs> like, the, this movie's not ending. Do you ever do that thing where you rewatch a movie like that, right? And you're just right. like, I remember there's more of this. So you start doing the timeline <laughs> in your head, like, wait a minute, this isn't the end. There's the baby dinosaurs... Yeah. In the building, so there's still that whole part. Uh, yeah, so. Uh, I mean, I liked all the jabs towards Cisco and Ebert. I don't want any candy. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. yeah. All yeah. right, so, you know, we've dwelled on Godzilla vs. Kong long enough. You know, hopefully a lot of people are excited about it. I don't particularly like what America's mm-hmm. American production companies seem to do with Godzilla. I don't think they really get it. Yeah. Um, but I know a lot of people are excited for it. So Tim more, Kong! More power to you. I like Skull Island. I, I, I'm going to yeah, so see it for Kong. I'm going to see it for Kong. I don't want to spoil it, but I mean, 
we know Godzilla's going to win. Or uh, no, Kong's, Kong's going to win, win yeah. because USA. <laughs> USA. No, honestly, I don't think they'll. I don't think they'll actually ever really fight. I think it's gonna, just going to be. A I draw. think they're going to team up it's and they're going to defeat a greater enemy. In oh, it sure, it it's, it's going to be that comic uh, that I sent you. Right. Like, save Mothra. Why did you say that name? Why did you say that name? Anyway, All right. So, so if you're going to watch it, it is due out on right. the 26th of March uh, in theaters right. or on HBO, HBO Max, Max, Max which is what I'm. Which is if I'm, I'm watching watch theaters, it, I'm watching it. Right. I've watched every monster. I watched every MonsterVerse movie with my best friend in theaters so I'm, yeah right. well Godzilla so we are getting, really we are getting long in time so let's uh final one what do we got next we have one more okay, godzilla one. singular point that's right on netflix there's a all the characters and that's coming out on netflix but not like, in the usa uh, right? all the human characters yeah i got a picture of all the human yeah characters. uh i think it's but gonna, not in the usa uh it's in japan i believe japan this april then i think it's gonna be like two months after april I think that's how they did it with the Which anime brings trilogy. me to our next sponsor. Not really a sponsor. VPN. Nord VPN. <laughs> Nord VPN. Don't say their name if they didn't pay us, or man. any Come Or on. any VPN. Just go to... Anyway, back to Singular yeah, Point. Go to anyvpn.com. <laughs> yeah. Any VPN. Yeah. And, and watch it in right. Netflix Japan. There's Jet Jaguar. Oh. Who looks really strange, to be yes. honest. Well, yeah. <laughs> it's... From what's shown and what could be gathered for the plot, right. um, it's a... Really big throwback to the Showa era, right. which is the which best I'm era. Cool with, yeah. Mm-hmm. Although I'm a little iffy on some of the monster designs, like uh, yeah. Rodan, he looks, he like, looks like an like a pterodactyl. He looks like a, yeah, a pelican. Me, he looks like a pelican That's with like a pterodactyl like, like body. Yeah, kind I can of, understand yeah. where it's leaning towards going towards the more realistic route. Which I love Rodan. He's my favorite. Yeah, it's yeah. going more towards the quote unquote realistic route, like uh, yeah. King Kong 2005, yeah. where Kong's just an ordinary gorilla. He's just a giant gorilla, which I thought. Well, that movie was boring for a number of reasons. Yes. But anyway. <laughs> and Godzilla's design. Oh, my God. He's so thick looking. You know, it's, it's, yeah. Thick, oh, let me bring that thick back Thick with up. two Cs. He's, oh, and that's yes. not the one. That's not the one. There three, it is. Three toes. Yeah. Three look toes at, like in Godzilla. His elephant feet. Godzilla. Godzilla yeah. thick. No, like. It's, it's he, like got, he got back. <laughs> he's like late show. He is. Era. Like. Here, here comes the image, right? No. What did I say when, when the when we went to go see uh, the 2014 Godzilla? Was like they called him and they were like, "Yo, Godzilla, baby, oh, you're right. back!" And he's like, "Oh, I've been eating chocolate cake the whole time." <laughs> right. Like so his was, tail is like connected to there. Like, he the is. Upper part of he, his body. he is thick. Yeah. Mm. His tail is boy. like two thirds of his body weight. Yes. <laughs> he thick boy. He, he got back guy. and three <laughs> toes. Yeah. Three toes, like the end of the show feet, era. Yeah. Right. Uh, so Singular Point, which is due out in April on mm-hmm. Netflix. I thought it was on, March. Uh, no, it's April. I've got Japan. April 2021 on Netflix, which I'm assuming is the Japan, Japanese though. Netflix. Yeah. 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 And by the looks of VPN. the tra- trailers, um, <laughs> Jet Jaguar is going to be the only good guy. I'm okay with that. Yep. Jet Jaguar. Jet Jaguar versus he's, Godzilla. he's not a good guy. He's the best guy. He's the be- <laughs> <laughs> it's Godzilla and his <laughs> army of so monsters. Wait, let me go because... back to us. He's not a good guy. He's the best guy. <laughs> yeah. It, yeah. <laughs> way to sell well, it. Well, you did it. Way to sell it. Anyway, no, go ahead. No, no. It's good. Way to it, sell it. In Jet Jaguar, he looks like something Dr. Robotnik would build. Right, he does. Yeah. And from the looks of the trailers, the premise is basically they. He evolves them, right? They, no, they, they keep, keep tinkering with them and building on them and every making time, them. Every yeah. fight, yeah. I guess. And I'm okay with that. And from what's shown in the trailers, um, Godzilla is supposed to be like this ancient sea monster that emits a red mist, and this red mist. Assumingly, it turns other monsters, turns other animals into monsters that spread the mists everywhere, which is why, like, you see a bunch of rodents flying, spreading it all over the place. Uh, so, Godzilla weird. might be the reason why all the other monsters are created. It sounds like they're doing a prequel to that, the Godzilla anime trilogy. <laughs> so, but probably so better. Earth or I'm whatever, seeing this yeah. picture, and he's got the jet jaguar face, but he's got like his the, body's like a like tetsujin like really... body. Yeah. Yep. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I will say in the in the old movies, the there old Jet again. Jaguar, he looked like the Green Goblin, but much better from the first <laughs> Spider-Man movie. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Yeah, he does look like the Green Goblin. So he's I not did green. a Photoshop of that back in high school. I recommend Damn, that anybody. Now I'm gonna buy two vinyls and paint one green. <laughs> I recommend that you guys, by the way, look up Jet Jaguar on Google Images oh, when you get a chance. He's if you find my Photoshop by accident, you might find my old DeviantArt page, and it's it's pretty shameful and it's full of crummy. Pieces. Speaking of Jet Jaguar, if I may brag for a moment, I just acquired the original MST3K disc of Godzilla vs. Megalon. The disc? 
the actual DVD. Oh, wow. Because, like, you can find it online. I mean, I would know where to do something like that. But you can find it online if, if, is that you, know, our, is that if you go to the dark web. But I don't know. But anyway, you can actually find it on archive.org, I think. Guys, but, uh, if you go to LimeWire.com. Right, you can right, right. Let's just but, talk about our new sponsor, LimeWire.com. <laughs> right, right. But, like, the versions are really bad. Like, the DVD yeah. version is probably the best version you can get. Which, right. to be fair, I mean, it's not great because TVs, a large TV in 1995, a big TV was maybe 32 inches. Mm, them is you know, a, like, them like, is a word of days. Right, right. So, um, but I, it's yeah. great. You're going to have to let me watch it. Uh, yeah. Want me to list off the monsters that are going to be in Yeah, yeah sure. So, yeah. we all know that Jet Jaguar is going to be there. Right. Rodan. Right. Titanosaurus, who. Yeah, which there's a picture of him, yeah. too, although he looks like a dinosaur. He looks like a Mosasaur. or a Mosasaur, yeah. yeah. Um, we saw, like, the legs of something that presumably Manda. Oh yeah, I guess he had little tiny legs and a long skinny body. Um, well, Gabra, Gabra's making an appearance. Gabra, the bully from yeah, I'm surprised. All you monsters come attack. Back. The bully. He's the one that bullied uh, his son. Minya, yeah, Minya, yeah. yeah. Which I don't care. I stand by that movie. I think it's a good Godzilla movie. Yes, Godzilla Revenge. But it's made for like five year olds, and but everybody trashes is on that, it. Is that why you love it? But the message no, is still no, but enjoyable to adults. To to the to, for the most part, yeah. Sure. It's like, it's dated somewhat. Uh, I was a latchkey close. kid, and it's about latchkey kids. So. Kind of oh, okay. Yeah. So really Angiris. connected with you, huh? And yeah. is making a comeback, and he's like the size yeah. of a truck. <laughs> what? Oh, like oh, the the shot of him in the trailer shows like a truck with a harpoon trying to like drive away from Angiris, and Angiris is chasing it. Wow. Yeah. And uh, the old Angiris looked like he spoke with like a thick New York accent. Do you remember we we've talked about? Oh, when that. he actually talked, yeah. Hey, <laughs> there's there's trouble. <laughs> yeah, was wait, it the same movie? That was the same movie, right? That was yeah, guy, yeah, guy, 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 versus guy, 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 That's yeah. right. Like, hey, Angiris, what do you want? What do you? That's right. What do you want? And in terms of the plot, in there's the, trouble. I, Go check it out. I'm walking here. In terms I'm of the plot and the human characters. It looks a lot like Shin Godzilla. Yeah. Like, there's yeah. a character that looks exactly like Rando Yaguchi, and there's a character that looks exactly like Kyoko Ann Patterson. Mm. <laughs> Who was supposed to be American, yet if you were an American watching that movie, you're like, yeah, there, she's, <laughs> she's not American. Oh, like, <laughs> I bet you they're going to do the same thing in Shin Ultraman. Yeah, yeah, probably. Still a good movie, though. Yes. But yeah, she was supposed to be an American diplomat to Japan, half Japanese, and it was yeah. just like, yeah, nope. <laughs> so the, the big thing about this one is, I don't know if we spoke right. on it, but Godzilla, the singular point is, is right. an anime. Yes. yes. Done by uh, Studio, Studio Bones, Bones and Orange. Right. Now, Studio Bones did a lot of anime that I enjoy. Like Soul Eater. Space Dandy. Uh, Space Dandy. Space but Dandy. Mob Psycho 100, which is yeah. the yep. creator of One Punch Man 1's creation. Yeah. Yep. Uh, both Full Metal Alchemists. Yeah. Which nice. I've only seen the first one, which I love. The second one I haven't seen. Oh, brother, it's so good. That's what I hear. That's what I hear. And sad. And sad. <laughs> and then, of course, uh, Orange, which is a studio that specializes in uh, 3D yep. CG. So we're going to see some yeah, 3D Rodan CG some in cool this. stuff. Yeah, yeah I'm going to have to check that one out in April. I mean, I'm gonna do a when it finally thing. makes its way to the States. I'm, I'm, I got my VPN. I'm going to hook my laptop <gasps> to my TV. And what? <laughs> I'm going to do a watch party. <laughs> Anthony. Dai Kaiju Anthony. <laughs> Dai Kaiju Q Anthony. How yeah. dare you do this? And in front of our sponsors, LiveWire.com. <laughs> VPN. NEVPN.com. NEVPN.com. <laughs> and I'm, I'm probably going to buy all the toys for the for some All right. If they're so doing it. <laughs> that is your upcoming That's Kaiju slated. Tokusatsu slated for the this year, or actually in uh, Attack on Titan's case, it's already been released or yeah. started. Yeah. It's not over yet. We should have an episode where we, where right. we do talk about some of our favorite old uh, yeah. Tokusatsu movies. I think that'd be good. We should get more into Eiji Tsuburaya, too, if we get a right. chance. Yeah, that guy, you, you don't know. <laughs> you just don't know. Like, yeah, a lot of people that have that perception of, like, crappy effects, it actually doesn't come from the old Godzilla movies. No. Um, it comes from more of the TV stuff, because the budgets were so cheap. Yeah. Right. Um, but anyway, we're getting off topic. Um, Does anybody... So... You know, if you do have a favorite tokusatsu, a favorite kaiju, whatever, mention it in the comments. Let us know. Let us know what your favorite um, yeah. uh, Dai Kaiju movie is. Right, right. Yeah. Um, you know, if you like what we're saying or we're talking about, then uh, hit the like. If you don't like it, hit the... If you I wanna, don't like it. If you want to yell <laughs> at us, don't like it. Do it for the algorithm. And right. Toho, if you're watching, give us prophecies of Nosodamas and Half Human. Right. Yeah. Well, Half Human, you're just never going to see the light of day. I would... Uh, never. I am, I'm convinced <laughs> that the Toho executives are not going to see this. But I would I, love I to imagine... I own Half Human, by the way. I, I would love to imagine <laughs> just, a, bootleg, a, just but... a bunch of businessmen 
who watch this and are like, oh, shoot, Daikaichi Tony says we got to put that out. Let's put it L- out. Put it out. <laughs> right. Yeah, Do yeah. it. Half Human, the banned Toho movie. And now, uh, before we before yep. we say goodbye to everyone, yep. does anyone have any recommendations? Any kind of recommendations for anybody? Um, uh, you know, I, I recently uh, picked up, and it was only thirty bucks, I think. So it's half price of a new game. I picked up Mafia Definitive Edition, which is a remaster of the classic Mafia from like two thousand two, which looked, I think it's two thousand two, but it looked even great back then for PC. Mm. That is a phenomenally beautiful game, honestly, and it plays really good. Um, except when you do the race car scene, don't leave it on classic mode. <laughs> you won't win. You it's won't. It's so win. hard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's hard. Very hard. But anyway, yeah, that's Spoilers. that was really good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Daikaiju you... Tony, you got any recommendations? Hmm. Well, the final, well, it's not really the final, but it's like the end of the story. The next expansion for Final Fantasy fourteen that was uh... revealed. Final Fantasy fourteen and Walker. We're gonna be able to explore the moon. Ooh. Wow. And <laughs> the, um, moon. the moon. The first, the, the base game and the first expansion are free, uh, I believe. And then after that, uh, it's a subscription based, but it's a really good MMO game. I cool. highly recommend playing it. And if you do ever play it, hit me up. Join the Crystal Coral server. Nice. Join my clan. Screw and you, Buzz Aldrin. Chocobos on the moon. Chocobos on the moon. <laughs> yeah. So what do you got? What do you got? Uh, I've been watching a show with my girlfriend called Warrior on HBO Max. Wait, 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 wait. You have a girlfriend? I do. (laughs) I'm kidding. Anyway, go ahead. She lives in Canada. (laughs) So we only text. (laughs) Okay. Anyway, so you were watching a show. Sorry, I totally derailed that. No, that's fine. Uh, We've been watching a show on HBO Max called Warrior, which is, uh, yes, which is a concept it was originally based on a concept by Bruce Lee, which I'm thinking he tried to make into a show at some point. Is that the old Circle of Iron? No, no, it's no, no. This is a series uh, that was uh, was made in 2019. It was a. It's on Cinemax, so you don't know okay. it. No one Ooh, knows Cinemax. that it exists. Cinemax. I didn't yeah. know it existed yeah. until we we were looking through HBO oh, Max and we okay. found it. It's basically. Uh, this guy, uh, uh, Andrew Koji, I believe his name okay. is, who looks a lot like Bruce Lee, but he's uh, he's basically Bruce okay. Lee in a situation where he is an immigrant in San Francisco, oh. uh, and he becomes a gangster, and he just basically kicks a whole bunch of butt. Um, oh. It's a great, it's a pretty good show. We're, we've been enjoying it. It's cool. It's, it's pretty good. Yeah. So all right. So and the guy a... looks so much like Bruce Lee. It's huh. it's kind of scary. It's kind of creepy. Wow. Yeah. It should right. have been Kato in that so, Green Hornet reboot. Prob- well, th- well that Green Cornet, yeah, that Green, green Cornet, Cornetto, that, Green Cornetto. That Green Hornet movie should not have been made in the first place. Yes. But that's that's my opinion. Yes. <laughs> even though we did, get I have to, no problem. Even though we did get to see the car, were you there for that? <laughs> Wait, what? No, I have no problem. Yeah, the, after that terrible movie came out, there. Uh, this is a side anecdote. We'll wait till after the show. I'll tell you about it. Okay. okay. <laughs> and if you want to know, let us in the comments, and maybe we'll talk about yeah. it next. I week. I have no problem with Jay Cho being right. Kato, but the the movie was just sucky. Yeah. Anyway, uh, if you have HBO. <laughs> <laughs> or however he laughs. I can't. <laughs> yeah, if you have HBO Max, do watch Warriors. It's a great show. We're just on the first season, but we're getting through it. It's all it's right. really good. Um, all right. And that's it. All right. So do check out all the stuff that we recommended to yeah. you. Or all the old stuff, at least, to get you right. ready for the new stuff. All right. And again, like, subscribe, comment, let us know what's up. And we will answer. One yes, of us will yeah, answer. We don't Actually, all of us will answer, because yeah. I'll make them answer. Yeah. Plus, like, you know. Dislike. It, Either way, yeah. it's part of the algorithm. That's all, right. Yeah. Either way, all I do is like sit in my room with the lights off and text my girlfriend in Canada. So <laughs> I don't have anything else to do, you guys. I'll I'll talk to you. I'll talk to you in the third. Right. Right, I'll talk right. to you in the comments. All right, all right, everybody. Is that it? We will. Yeah, yep. we'll see you We're guys out of here. next week. Good night. Good night. Good night.